Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm here with just a quick video on a kind of a cold comfort kit that I've created. My son has been sick and I was tired of running up and down the stairs and picking up Kleenex everywhere that we just kind of threw haphazardly, which is very unsanitary. So I don't know. This is just kind of a the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a dork. Uh, it's just this diaper caddy I got at the thrift store a couple months ago. Uh, we weren't really using it because we have diapers kind of wherever we need them. But I thought this would be a really great place to contain everything we need for our cold um, comforts, I guess. Because we are up and down all over the house. Right now I'm in Amir's room. I mean, we could be in my room or downstairs. You never know. So I thought this would be a great way to contain things. Uh, okay, so in this pouch, the main pouch, I have clean tissues and I have a spot for dirty tissues. I've seen this several places. I think it was on like clean space, clean my space. I will link the video below, but they like taped their Kleenex boxes together, which is a really great idea. But because I have the space for it here, um, I just thought this like actually works absolutely perfect for, you know, dirty tissue. So we're not getting every dirty uh, tissue all over the house. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down here since you're kind of getting the idea and just sticking things in different pockets for, you know, their corresponding sizes. But it's just a really handy way I found um, since I've made it that you could use it for adults, you can use it for kids, just customize it to whatever sickness you got. Um, but yeah, it's been handy. Um, so in this, in one of the pouches, I just have a sippy cup because, you know, it's good to get the fluids in um, to flush that stuff out of you. Um, in one pouch, I have two things, two packs here, and they're both from the dollar store. Um, you can get a four pack of these wet wipes, oops, these wet wipes from the, sorry, I'm just kissing the table here, <laughs> of these wet wipes from the Dollar Tree, you get ten in a pack, which is perfect to wipe down germy surfaces, and then I have a pack of boogie wipes, which is like the saline wipes, and, um, yeah, they just kind of come in handy for the sticky, icky, um, boogery faces, <laughs> they're the perfect name, um, and then, I love this stuff. This is wonderful. This um, honest, easy, or breathe easy um, rub, and it's kind of like our Vicks, a more natural alternative to Vicks. And I want to say, okay, yeah, it's petroleum and menthol free, so it's very good. Obviously, marketed towards you know babies and little little ones. It's got um, sunflower oil, beeswax, coconut oil olive oil. Oh, there's a ton of things in here. Okay. But they're all kind of the more natural ingredients. And it says it's non-GMO and certified organic ingredients. It's not a verified GMO product, but it does say that it is non-GMO. Um, I'm trying to think of what is in here. So it's got, oh boy, 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 boy. What's in here? It smells like Vicks, but it's kind of got a lavendery scent. It doesn't even say. Okay, yeah. Organic lavender and rosemary oils. Um, no harsh chemicals, perfectly ineffective for babies and big kids. Um, so I really like this. And if you open the container, it is, you know, just like kind of like a, a Vicks rub. And I use this when I'm sick. I rub it on his chest when he's sick. I rub it on the bottoms of his feet when he's sick. Don't mind my chipped nails. Um, I really like this. Um, I actually have another one that I got. Uh, because I just like having this on hand. Um, okay, and now we have our oils that we use. Um, of course, you got to have coconut oil because I don't think I can get through a video that's not a haul without talking about coconut oil because I just love it. Um, I'll use the coconut oil for our carrier oil. I'll usually dig out about a teaspoon worth um, and then I will m mix it with some lavender and peppermint um, or... Um, this serenity just kind of is like a calming. I'll do this at night too, even when my son is not sick, or I'll do some drops, uh, two drops in a bath when he's taking a bath. It's just kind of got calming, uh, calming essence. It's got lavender oil, um, sweet marjoram, marjoram, sorry if I'm not saying that right, um, Roman chamomile, lang lang, I don't know if I'm saying that right either, flower oil, 
um, vanilla bean extract and sandalwood. And this is from the doTERRA brand. Um, actually, both of the oils that I use are from the doTERRA brand. My friend sells it. That's why I have that. But I do use other oils and I don't see a big difference with them. But anyway, besides the point. So I'll do um, one drop of peppermint oil, one drop of uh, lavender oil and I'll rub it on the bottom of his feet um, or you can drop it in a bath I haven't done that yet I usually just do the serenity um, two drops of the serenity stuff in the bath um, I like to do a little bit of eucalyptus for myself but I don't think it's recommended for children anyways I just want to state I'm not a doctor I'm not saying you should be using these oils check with your doctor check you know Check out essential oils because they can be dangerous if you're not using them correctly. So I'm just letting you know what we have in our comfort kit, our care comfort kit, I guess. Um, and then the treatment, treatment, the medication we're using is this Highlands cough, cough syrup. Um, I like this stuff. I think it really does work um, with our little syringe that I think I have from like they gave me a bunch of these when we were at the hospital when I had a mirror. Um, so I just use these. I know it's the same. It's five mil. Um, so then I'll just, and then I can stick it back there and have him do it because he does not at all like taking that medication or any of the medications. Um, so this is kind of convenient to kind of just stick back and go real fast. <laughs> um, I've also been using ibuprofen, um, but I really try to use that very sparingly, which is, I'm sorry, I didn't even explain. The lavender and the peppermint oil are supposed to bring down fever, as, as well as being kind of comforting. Lavender is naturally a comforting thing. So um, I use those to try to bring the fever down before I have to result to um, ibuprofen, which unfortunately in some cases I do because the fever is high enough. Another thing I would stick in here is... Um, a thermometer but unfortunately I lost mine I need to pick another one of those up um, I think that is all that I have in here but um, I just find that this is super handy thing to have and um, I recommend you make your own kit to customize it to whatever your needs are but hopefully this is helpful thanks guys for watching